Hi, my name is Dr. Stephen Long and welcome back to the Character Wins program. Today we're going to be uh, continuing our discussion on learning skills and strategies. Today we're going to be focusing on learning from lectures. Today we're going to talk about how to make your learning experience from lectures more efficient. We're going to talk about what you should do before the lecture, during the lecture, and after the lecture. There are a number of things that you can do to make your learning more efficient uh, for your, from your lectures. Is number one, uh, just go to class. As somebody once said, 50% of success is just showing up, and uh, learning will be just much more efficient if you just go to class. Uh, secondly, is uh, con uh, complete all the reading assignments for the upcoming lecture beforehand. Don't wait until after the lecture. Basically, you want to be prepared. You want to have an understanding about what the instructor will be talking about. And also, review your notes from the previous class. That will also help you have a better understanding about what you might expect uh, for the upcoming lecture. Uh, thirdly, uh, bring your materials, and not just uh, the obvious ones such as uh, extra pens and your notebook, but also bring your textbook and bring all the handouts. Uh, there will be times when your instructor will, re um, will review to these uh, uh, resources, and uh, you don't want to be sitting there twiddling your thumbs, wondering what, what everybody else is looking at. Uh, fourth, uh, choose an appropriate seat in the class, and this has to do with your uh, learning tendencies, particularly your learning styles. Is that if you're a, a, a visual learner and, you know, and if you have a, a, a lecture in a large lecture hall, uh, you want to sit somewhere in the front 20% of class so you have a good view of the uh, of, of the instructor. Uh, but if you're an audio learner in a large lecture hall, you don't necessarily have to sit in front, but you should be in a place where you can hear the, uh, the instructor. And most lecture halls have uh, excellent sound systems. Uh, but uh, the primary thing is that you just want to be away from other people so you're not overhearing their uh, conversations. That will distract you. Uh, if you're in a classroom, though, both the audio learner and the visual learner will want to be uh, up front. Obviously, the, uh, uh, the visual learner uh, will need to see the instructor, but the uh, audio learner uh, wants to be up front because uh, the classroom will not have a sound system. And finally, date your, your notes. Uh, this may seem fairly obvious, but uh, this will have a ramification on how you prepare for your exams. Uh, you're going to have a better understanding about lecture-to-lecture uh, -lecture transitions and how you should organize and prepare for exams. There are a few things you can do to make learning more efficient during the lecture. And the first is uh, indent your page. Is uh, Just don't take notes uh, on the page where the original indent line is. Is, is, is draw a line, not, not in the middle of the page, but about a third of the way in. So about uh, one third is open to your left and two thirds is to your right. Now, on the left side, uh, just uh, identify the primary idea, and on the right side, write all the supporting details, uh, whatever the uh, teacher uh, is, is talking about. But then always write down whatever the instructor writes down. Uh, any type of uh, their notes over, or on an overhead or any other type of uh, um, uh, visual aid that the instructor has. Whatever the instructor writes down, you should write down. Uh, also, any definitions that the uh, instructor provides. If he lists anything, such as these are the three most important things of the economic impact of World War II on uh, Western Europe. Uh, you write those three things down. That th those are just uh, th those are just key things. And then any type of important comments, such as be sure to remember or make sure you know this. Uh, listen for uh, these type of uh, uh, instructor uh, instructions. Uh, w one thing I do as an instructor, I, I I tell them to listen, but then when I need them to write something down, I say write this down. So obviously any type of uh, of a hint that you should be writing something down from the instructor, write it down. After the lecture, you should do a couple of things. Uh, first is uh, 
right after the lecture, before you leave the lecture hall, is include all information that you might have missed during the lecture. So basically just clarify any missing data, either with the instructor. Uh, I don't suggest you do that in a large lecture hall because you may have between two and 400 students in there and the instructor just won't have uh, uh, won't have the resources to, to give you. Uh, but uh, check with the, the TA. Um, a TA is a great resource and they're there to help you. Uh, or uh, just other students who might be able to help you also. It's always good to have uh, 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 resources in that area also. So before you leave the lecture hall, uh, just uh, complete all the missing information that you might have missed. Also, after the lecture for your homework, whether immediately after class or uh, after practice that evening, uh, is you want to do a couple of things is uh, first uh, you want to create questions now remember I talked about indenting the page on the left side you have a uh, you know the main topic well also look into those uh, into the supporting details and then uh, write yourself one or two key questions uh, and, and this has to do with low level or high level uh, type of questions and if you just want to remember facts use the low level questions if you want to use the high level qu uh, questions uh, you know to analyze data use those type of questions uh, but write those questions in the left inden uh, in indented part of the page uh, but then on the right part of the page is just circle the key terms uh, these are the terms that's going to help you remember the answers to those questions Questions is basically there's lots of answers out there, but you need the right questions. And if you provide the right questions to yourself, it's going to make studying and preparing for the exam a lot easier. And then at the end of your notes, write a summary of the notes. And I'll be, be providing an example of this momentarily. But just write a summary of the entire lecture. What was the uh, what was the main topic? What was the primary idea that the um, that the uh, instructor was trying to get across and then write a summary question below that uh, and then uh, this is a great way to test yourself is that yes you can study each uh, e each of the uh, of the topics and 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 remember the uh, the key terms that you circled uh, but then just uh, put a book over the right side and just ask yourself the questions just read the questions that you created for yourself and then answer them uh, it's, it's just a great way to study uh, for, for uh, study that material, and uh, that's something you should be doing after each lecture, also. To review this uh, seminar on learning from lectures, is basically just want to make your uh, learning as efficient as possible. So before your lecture, just be prepared. Uh, you know, re read all the assignments and uh, and review your notes during the lecture. Uh, be organized. As uh, indent your page to one third, and then uh, write anything down that the uh, teacher write da writes down. Uh, try to get the uh, uh, understand what the uh, what the main topic he's talking about, and then uh, all the supporting details. Uh, and then after the lecture, uh, uh, provide some questions, sum uh, su summarize the uh, lecture, uh, and then on the left side of your notes, provide questions in those uh, topic areas, and then test yourself. Uh, it's, it's a fairly simple approach, uh, but that's what these uh, high-performing student-athletes have done, and it's proven well for them. Uh, next time, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, preparing for exams. So uh, until then, have a great have a great week.